Hey guys, it's Philip from Steve's Motor Co. And we are back again with another video. I know it's been a long time since we've done one. We've been really busy at the shop. We've got a lot of cool projects going on, a lot of cool products we've been working on as well. Uh, so we want to share them with you while we've got them all here. Let's check them out. One of the first cars I want to show you is one of the ones that is almost done. It's running and driving. We're just doing some final tests on it. Uh, and it's Mark's car here, this beautiful blue Mini we've done. Uh, this is a really cool project because he built this car uh, on his PlayStation uh, with Gran Turismo, I think, and then sent me a screen grab and said, I want you to build this. And it's sort of got all of the features possible. It's got a roll cage, it's got a roof rack, it's got wheel arches, it's got a Honda engine, custom dash, custom interior. It's got a little bit of everything. So we'll just do a quick once over on it. It's got a really nice blue paint job, big arches. It's got our old SMCO headlights. We've got louvers on the hood. Again, all this was on the, on the screen grab from the video game. So we were just kind of copying it verbatim. Uh, new mini badge. We've got a D16 engine. This is a D16 Z6, converted to coil-on plug, custom radiator, uh, stainless headers. Uh, you've seen similar builds before. We did all new seals. We did uh, the headliner. It's got a uh, safety devices roll cage. Uh, we also did uh, Cobra seats, Mobo prototypo steering wheel, our own billet uh, shifter with a shifter extension our drop bracket, pedals, the whole works. Um, one of the really cool things though is the dashboard. So this is a completely custom dashboard that we made for this car, sort of inspired by uh, heavy machinery and by fire trucks. Uh, Mark is a fireman and uh, we wanted to bring a little bit of that industrial look to the inside. So it's an ABS panel on the back uh, that is mounted kind of in a conventional way with a lot of 3D printed custom pieces that enclose all the different features. So yeah, this is the Mark's car. It's really coming along. Let's show you what else we got. This is an example of another kind of project where we do where uh, someone started a build and they haven't been able to finish it. Uh, and then we're able to help them out and complete the job. Um, so this is a really neat car. It's actually a Mark one mini uh, that was a race car for many, many years. Uh, and famously, it actually was being filmed one day from a newscast uh, and it had a big crash and rolled. The driver's side front of the car went right into him. It was just horrible. And they rebuilt it and, uh, and Reperson got it back into being a race car. Uh, when it was a race car, it had an A-series engine. Um, after it had finished its racing circuit, uh, another person bought it uh, and converted it to a B18 uh, Honda engine. Um, from there, the current owner purchased it um, and is finishing the job. It was never wired or uh, plumbed or anything like that. They just put the engine in. So it's really cool because it's got actual race patina. It's got some cool things like it's got all Lexan windows, uh, fiberglass front, fiberglass uh, boot lid. Let me show you kind of the, uh, the engine bay. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's just got a complete flip front that is removable. So again, we caught the car uh, like this with uh, with the engine already mounted. It's got a mini tech subframe. Um, and then we've gone ahead and added a few things. We've done all the brake lines, um, started doing the electrical. We've done all the chassis wiring, um, built a radiator bracket and, and whatnot. Uh, but it's pretty cool with that. It makes it a lot easier to work on. Uh, we've also done a lot on the interior of the car. When we got the car, it was pretty much bare. Um, and we wanted to give it sort of a race car inspired vibe on the inside. It, it will be a street car, um, but because of its race car past and because of the big honking engine in the front, uh, we wanted to give it a kind of cool vintage look. We've got a uh, all new carpet kit put in. Uh, we made a custom dash panel that uses old Lucas uh, switch gear with the center uh, key, just like the original. 
a big tack mounted right here. Uh, and then we've got the early style Mark II and up center gauge here with an electronic Lucas Speedo and fuel. So it, it'll work with the Honda engine. Uh, we've also got uh, our oil pressure here. And then on this side, we're gonna have our uh, uh, Smith's tack. It's kind of cool seeing a car like this kind of stripped out because um, the, uh, the wiring is all done on this car. This is uh, completely wired, ready to go. There's just little remainders here. You can see like the, some of the loom, some of the fuses and relays, um, but with our, our bespoke wiring harness, it keeps it really tidy. So even when it's stripped out like this, um, the car will run just like this. And then we did a cool thing for mounting the seats. So these are Cobra Classic RSR seats, which we really like. Um, but in order to get them as low as possible, because we wanted to get the head away from the roll cage that it's got, uh, we actually cut out the, um, the center um, beam here and re-welded it slightly lower. Um, this allows us to get the seats really low down um, and they bolt directly through it. Before this was welded, we've got a captive nut on the bottom that's welded to this panel. Uh, so you still get the rigidity of the beam going across, but the seats get that much lower. And because it's bolted front and back, um, uh, the, the seats are really stiff. They don't flip up. They just slide really nice. Um, and the other little feature, this is the first time using this wheel. Uh, it's a Momo California wheel and we really like it. It's super nice. Um, it's got a nice finish, almost like a guitar uh, style finish. So um, this car is really cool. This will be up and running soon. Um, let's go check out some other ones. More minis. Uh, this is a really cool one. This is Ryan's car. We've been working on this for a little while. This is a full build, top to bottom. Um, again, D16. Uh, he had bought a complete kit with the engine already attached to the subframe. Um, and then the car he had painted, but other than that, it was a bare shell and we've done everything else. Uh, this is kind of a cool build ethos because it's going to be uh, sort of a daily driver. Um, I think actually he's planning on, uh, on giving it to his wife to drive. Um, she's always wanted a Mini and she wanted something that was Bentley-esque. So we've sort of kept it really classic looking. Uh, this is sort of our favorite style anyways. Um, so we've got, you know, kind of very reserved arches, a nice bonnet stripes, a lot of little chrome touches, uh, 10 inch wheels that are simulated steelies. These are cool wheels. Uh, they just came out, they actually fit over the big brakes because they're pretty low offset. Um, so you're able to run big brakes, which we've got on this car. Uh, and then the interior is really nice. We've only kind of half put it in right now, but we've got this interior custom made. Uh, let's check out the engine bay. So again, we've got some fog lights, Lucas fog lights here. This is our D16 engine bay. Uh, this one is because it already came as a kit. Um, it's not running our uh, coil on plug. It's just running a factory computer, albeit it does have a Honda S300 in it, uh, which we've had tuned. Um, so we've got all new hardware. Everything's brand new, really, really fresh, uh, clean, nice. It drives really good. It's uh, this one again, it's on the road already. Um, just kind of finishing up the last little touches with it. Uh, if you come around and check out the interior, it's really nice. Again, we're only kind of half done putting it in. Uh, we've got the carpets installed in the back seats, but while we're still test driving it, we got our test drive seat and we left the front carpet out just uh, so that we don't uh, muck anything up. We've got some protective film on everything, but you can kind of see what it's going to be like. Uh, we've got nice burl walnut uh, dash. Um, we've got really cool gauges. They're kind of in the same style as a Smith's gauge, um, but they're from Classic Instruments, which we really like. Uh, we had to 3D print a little piece uh, to fill in the gap between the uh, the Speedo and the, the factory gauge. Uh, we did something really simplistic on this car where we've got RPM over here, fuel gauge, and your Speedo. Uh, and that's all you need. Uh, we've got a little warning light here and a little warning light here. One is for oil pressure and one is for water temp. If the water temp gets too high, the warning light comes on. If the oil pressure gets too low, warning light comes on. Other than that, because this is a daily driver, not a race car, you don't need to know. It's a Honda, uh, it'll be good. Uh, we've got some nice little chrome finish on the uh, on the door knobs here. Um, this is an example of the, uh, of the speaker uh, pods that we've got. That one doesn't have the ring on it yet. Uh, this one has it here. Uh, I'll talk about a bit about these later because this has got a hidden sound system, which is really cool. So we've got, you got four speakers in here 
and a Bluetooth amplifier that's tucked up underneath the rear seat. Um, that allows you to have a really nice sound system, but you don't see anything, so it doesn't ruin the aesthetics of the car. For the switch gear, um, we kept it really simple. Same thing, we've got some toggle switches here. We did a really nice little Lexan um, piece that we had laser cut and then laser engraved with our logos and with um, stampings of what the, the different uh, pieces do um, when you turn it on to the, the, the switches illuminate, which is really nice. Another couple of little small features, we've got our SMCO steering wheel, SMCO hub, SMCO drop bracket, SMCO pedals, SMCO uh, sun visors, all of which are available in the store. And then the leather seats are really nice. So we've got leather dash pads, uh, we've got leather shift boots going on, e-brake boot. You can see the uh, the rear seats uh, with a diamond stitch pattern. This is all done by Optimize Automotive uh, in really good quality. We really liked it. Um, we've still got the door cards and stuff to go on, but while we're testing it, we're leaving all that out. Let me show you the boot because it's really nice. So again, keeping with the classic look, we've got Cooper badges. We've got a nice Lucas uh, reverse light. So actually when you put it in reverse, this lights up so you can actually see out the back. And then we've got the boot. Oh, so again, Optimize Automotive helped us out with this. Uh, it's a beautiful little uh, leather piece. You can put your luggage in here. Um, and we've even got a little dome light in here that's activated by a push button. So when you open the, the boot, it lights up and you can see what's inside. Really like this car. You don't usually get to see underneath the car um, with some of our builds, but here's just sort of an example of a really clean one. Um, so we've got all of our new brake lines, we've got brand new battery cable. We like to put these in a um, bit thicker gauge than the original. Uh, new fuel lines running all the way up here. You can see our exhaust system. We used an RC40 exhaust system and just mated it uh, to the header right here. And we've got a V-band clamp. Uh, eliminates any of those stupid slip joints. Um, and then a little bit tidier than using a, like a flanged gasket. On the slip joint that's normally here, we weld this up. So again, no possibility of any leaks, which is really nice. Uh, you can see all of our new hardware. We've got all CAD coated uh, suspension arms, our favorite NICOP brake lines, new steering rack, big uh, aluminum four pot calipers. Um, yeah, just really tidy, clean, uh, clean car, top to bottom. So additional to all the cars that we've got inside, uh, we've got a lot of builds we're doing right now. We've even got ones outside. Uh, so let's just quickly run past these and I can show you kind of what we've got going on. So here we've got another D16 swap. This one's actually almost done. We've got the whole setup inside ready to go. Just the subframe needs to get uh, bolted in and then, so this one's actually really close. Uh, Marco's Mini, uh, it was on the roof for a long time. We finally pulled it down. This is actually gonna be built as well. We're doing uh, our own D16 swap on this, sort of as a prototype mule uh, test drive uh, car that we'll be able to move around and uh, take people for test drives. Now this one here, this is Cameron's car. This one uh, is also getting a D16 swap. This one is very soon going inside the shop and is gonna be pulled out. Uh, it's an MPI car, really clean, um, and it's getting a full full build on it. Uh, so it's, it's in waiting, but very, very soon. And then this is Bert's car. Uh, we've done videos on this one in the past. Um, we are rebuilding the engine right now. Uh, it's got a 1310 uh, that's going in it. Uh, that's being put together as we speak. Uh, and then in the coming weeks, it's gonna be bolted in and it'll be back off uh, with him. All right, so this is the last car that we've got in the shop I wanted to show you. But before I drop it down, uh, I wanted to show you this. This is a, a new addition for us. Uh, this is a custom titanium exhaust system. Uh, Adam next door helped us build this. Uh, really cool. Uh, this car is a, a Honda swap, um, so I'm really excited to hear what the sounds. We're close to firing it up right now, uh, but it's really nice. Check it out. We've got a, a titanium uh, tip. We did a color um, change on it using batteries, and then uh, and then straight through. Uh, right to uh, right to the header uh, with a titanium V band right here next to the flex pipe, really nice. Come on. Once again. All right, so here's the final car. We've got uh, Jackson's car here. It's really cool. Uh, this one we've done again, complete ground up restoration. Um, we did we blasted the car. 
uh, down to bare metal, did the full body work and paint. It actually had been crashed previously, so the whole front end needed to be redone. Uh, and it's in an NSX uh, Acura Blue, which is really nice. It's a tri-coat color. Uh, this car is sort of carbon fiber uh, inspired. So everything that could be carbon fiber is carbon fiber. A carbon fiber dash, carbon fiber hood, even the, uh, the little uh, rings around the headlights and even the indicators are carbon fiber. Also got a, uh, a van grill on it that we, we modified to fit in there. Um, and then carbon fiber lip, really nice. This is also a D16 car. So this is an example of our most up-to-date uh, D16 build. Um, to kind of briefly go over it, we're running D16 Y8 engine. Uh, this one has got a comp cams. It's like a stage two camshaft. Uh, coil on plug ignition, Haltech 750 Elite ECU, our own in-house wiring harness, um, fabricated aluminum intake manifold, um, lots of stuff, it's really nice. We were still running the boosted brakes on this setup, stainless steel header, just about ready to fire up. Uh, really excited to, to hear this one run, especially with the, uh, the titanium exhaust system. Uh, and the interior is as cool as the engine base. Let's check that out. It's got S2000 seats, which we recovered in new seat, uh, new seat covers. It's like Alcantara and leather. Got Alcantara shift boot, carbon fiber, uh, titanium button even for the e-brake, titanium horn button. Uh, it's really neat. Uh, for the dash, it's an aluminum panel uh, with carbon fiber topper here and a carbon fiber uh, surround for the gauges. The, uh, the gauges, we even got custom backing um, plates made in carbon fiber for the stock gauges that we're using um, uh, that we've configured to work with the Honda engine. Uh, it's got a couple really neat things, like we've even got like a start-stop button. Uh, this little piece here um, tells you your uh, different temperatures, like both in the engine bay and, uh, and inside the car. It's also got a clock and a USB uh, charger. There's a bunch of cool little things. We've done the headliner. Uh, it's got a GPS speedo. That's what this little thing is here. Uh, stereo system. You can see again we're using our um, speaker pods here so that it looks like factory vents but in fact that's where the speakers are. And we've got a hidden amp and a hidden sub uh, in the car for speaker system. Uh, this is a really cool car. So if you've stuck around this long and checked out all the cars, uh, maybe you'd like to see some of the parts we've got going on. Uh, we build cars here, but we also develop and sell parts. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that we're excited to share. Uh, let's start off first uh, with one of our best selling products, finally back in stock, our pedal covers. These we make all locally here, all designed uh, in CAD right there. Um, and we've done a little bit of updating uh, since the last video when we posted some um, uh, info on these. So we've made a revision to the backing plate of them. So instead of being two piece now, uh, it's one piece. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to install. Uh, you don't have to hold two of them in the back. You can just slide it over and tighten it down a little bit easier, a little update. Um, and we have also added uh, black uh, anodized to our lineup. So we have them both in the uh, in the silver finish and the black and they both look really good. They've got uh, the same sort of uh, finish where we get them, uh, uh, it's like a satin anodized and then the machining is done on top of it. So you get kind of a reflective surface in the grip uh, here and also in the cutouts uh, for the gas pedal. Uh, again, as a refresher, the uh, brake and the clutch have got a grip uh, function on them so your feet doesn't slip off and then the gas pedal is smooth to allow easier heel toe. So check out the black ones here. Uh, these are really nice um, and are, these are available right now on our website. Uh, also we've done a little update to our cup holder. Our cup holder has been one of our best sellers. Uh, it's a really simple device but since minis don't come with cup holders uh, it's a great addition to any car. Uh, we print them, uh, 3D print them in carbon filament right here, over there. Um, and uh, we've been selling these for years now and we figured it's time for a little bit of an update. So we added a uh, uh, kind of a little bit more modern touch to the cup holders. They're now, uh, instead of just being a single block, um, we've added some contours to the edge. Uh, there's a hole through it now. Um, so just a little bit lighter appearance kind of in the car. 
And it's got a kind of a neat little feature where um, the nylock nut that holds it, so it, it bolts on like this onto your seat bracket, and then the bolt threads in here. And the nylock nut is now captive uh, inside the 3D printed piece. It's pretty neat. It goes in and it pops in and holds it like that. And we've got a cheeky little SMCO banner right here, and you can see the gold uh, nylock uh, nut through there. Uh, just a fun little feature that we've got. Uh, and these are available also on the website right now. Feel free to check those out. Um, and then the next one we've got is our new tow hooks. These are really nice. Um, we spent a lot of time getting the shape just right, uh, doing a lot of research on the material. Um, these are 3 16 steel, uh, really strong. Um, and the, the shape uh, is designed so that you can actually get a tow hook in there once it's bolted up. These are goes onto the, the rear subframe of the car. Also got our logo on there. Um, and we're gonna do another separate video on all about these and how to install them. Uh, and again, these are available on the website as well right now. If you have a Mini, you may know that the Minis never came with front speakers, only the two on the parcel shelf in the back. Uh, but to get a more comprehensive sound system, uh, it's really nice to have some speakers in the front, um, particularly some smaller uh, tweeters to mids. So these are designed to fit four inch speakers uh, in the uh, front fresh air vents of any normal uh, mini dash. And they use the factory ring. This is the factory ring. This goes in from the back and replaces the vent. And you can see it's actually, uh, this is a 3D printed piece um, and it is designed to look like the fresh air vent. So this goes in, you spin this on from the front and then from the back side, you're able to mount uh, a four inch speaker. So this allows you to have simulated vents in the front. So it totally looks stock. Um, but you get a nice mounting surface uh, for speakers in the front. Just a small thing, uh, but we've been putting these in pretty much all of our builds and they work awesome. Um, and we're gonna have these on the site very shortly. Lastly, uh, with our D16 builds, um, we like to have some sort of insignia on the outside so that people know uh, that it's got something different under the hood. And uh, we've been doing these. These are our um, 1590 uh, badges. So these are um, laser cut out of stainless and then polished. Um, in this version, we've tack welded some studs on the back so it can be bolted to like a boot. Uh, we've also got a version that will have um, a laser cut sticker um, with a 3M uh, double-sided tape so you can stick it on without drilling any holes in your car. So if you do have uh, a D16 engine and you want a little bit of classic look, this is the same typeface as the 1275 or 998. Uh, that would be on the back, but instead it is 1590. So again, these will be on the site soon. Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification for more videos. Um, if you are interested in any of the parts that I've shown here, they are all either currently available on the website or will be available soon. Uh, if you have suggestions for other parts you'd like to see, feel free to shoot us an email. Uh, and if you have any inquiries about uh, getting a build done, uh, you'd like your car work done, you'd like a D16 swap, uh, again, shoot us an email um, and we'd love to reach out to you. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Are you gonna open it or are you gonna spin it? Spin it until it opens. Oh, seats. Yo, what does it smell like? It smells like cobras. Mm -hmm. What kind of cobras? You can really king feel the cobra. Is it cobra? king cobra? Or is that extra?